There are people and facilities who are using aviation as a way to make a living by introducing unapproved parts into the aviation system. When Duncan Aviation accepts and installs these items, we take on the responsibility for airworthiness of the parts and components involved. In today's session, we're going to talk about approved parts, unapproved parts, suspected approved parts, risks, detection, and prevention and control. Let's begin by talking about what qualifies an item to be listed as an approved part. Approved parts are items that are designed and produced in accordance with 14 CFR Part 21, maintained in accordance with 14 CFR Parts 43 and 91, and they meet the applicable design standards, are in a condition for safe operation, and have the proper documentation. Naturally, if we have approved parts, we also have unapproved parts. Unapproved parts are not of an approved design, they are not properly produced or maintained, and they will not have the proper documentation. A suspect and approved part is a part, component, or material suspected of not meeting the requirements of an approved part. In other words, a part for any reason you suspect may not meet the requirements. Indicators of suspect and approved parts include different finish, size or color, improper or lack of identification, incomplete or altered documentation. Now just because you have the reason to believe something may be wrong with the item doesn't naturally qualify it as an unapproved part or a suspect unapproved part. It simply means we need to do further investigation to make this determination. So. Does this mean suspect unapproved parts are unsafe? It can be hard to tell. To make this determination is a very costly process. This process could cost more than it would to purchase an approved part for safety purposes. If we decide to accept and install an unapproved part, it could be very costly to you, Duncan Aviation, and our customers. Some of the risks involved with unapproved parts and suspect and approved parts include the loss of life, a decrease in flight safety, structural or operational integrity, the loss of reputation for the manufacturer, operator, or repair station, the loss of customers, future business, recall costs, rework costs, downtime, and legal actions. Finding and detecting suspect and approved parts can be very difficult. Some counterfeiters are very good at what they do and make it extremely difficult to tell the difference between what is an approved part and what is an unapproved part. Here is an example where a counterfeiter has transformed some gears to look as if they were an approved part. They start by welding the damage, it's filed down so it's smooth, and finally, they sandblast, mark, and prepare the item for shipping. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple of bolts. One of these is an approved part, the other is unapproved. Study the two bolts for a moment, and when you're ready, click on the one you think is the approved part. Suspect and approved parts can be very hard to detect. Many times it takes a combination Shown here of verifying are design data, data plates. production data, one is considered to be data, acceptable, and documentation the other would to be an indication detect these types of possible items. suspect and approved part. Take a look at the pictures and click on the one you think is the acceptable data plate. Detecting unapproved parts is not easy. Take a look at the two bearing spacers shown here. There are two differences. Look closely and click on the two areas where you see a difference. Now let's take a quick look and see if you know what to do once you find a discrepancy and become suspicious of a part or a component. Now that we have reviewed some of the indicators of an unapproved part or a suspect unapproved part and what we can do to prevent and control these items, we need to take a quick look at some of the prevention and control measures. 
To begin with, it's important we know our vendors and audit them on a regular basis. In doing so, Duncan Aviation verifies our vendors have the proper ratings. Duncan Aviation's Receiving Auditor Program plays a significant role in the detection of unapproved parts or suspect and approved parts by inspecting the parts and documents for proper airworthiness approvals. Once a discrepancy is found, it is important the part or the component is segregated and quarantined until a proper course of action is determined. When aviation parts reach the end of their life cycle and need to be thrown away, they must be completely mutilated in order to prevent the item from being salvaged and resold back into the aviation market. And last but not least, once Duncan Aviation has identified an item as meeting the criteria for a suspect and approved part, it is critical we take immediate action and report the incident to the FAA. If you think you find an item qualifying as a suspect unapproved part, please contact one of the chief inspectors for further guidance right away. They will investigate the item further and if necessary they will report the unapproved part according to FAA procedure. Our customers trust us with their lives and the lives of their loved ones. The work you do and the decisions you make every day impacts thousands of lives. Aviation safety really depends on you. This concludes this section on suspect unapproved parts. Please verify all items listed on the table of contents has a check mark next to it in order to receive credit for this section. When you are ready, please close this browser and continue on with the next item listed in your curriculum. Please note, you will have the ability to relaunch this section once it is completed. Your LMS status will not update until this window is closed. You may also need to refresh your LMS browser to view the updated completion status.